Okay. Let's continue. Moving into the final stages now, because I just finished up the Maverick levels. Repla Force is at the spaceport. I have to go. No! Please wait, Zero. I don't want to see you two fight. Someone has to stop your brother. I'm leaving. Jeez, way to be nice to your girlfriend, Zero. Jesus. You know, I don't... Iris, I don't know if Zero's the right man for you. Anyways, um... Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> was trying to show off Jet's Stingray's technique there. Or not. I guess not. I guess I'm just dash jumping through everything. Now, there I was about to pull it off, but I got hit. There we go. Uh. Uh. Thanks? That actually helped me more than it detrimented me. Because it knocked me back onto the platform. I was about to take a little tumble. Ow. But, yeah, Stingray's technique is literally just the air dash, which, like I mentioned in previous parts, I'm pretty sure Zero has that from the beginning in later games. He also gets the double jump from the beginning in X6, one of the very few things X6 did okay. Anyways, there's actually a health power-up hidden back there, which, unless you decided for whatever reason to try and walk into one of the walls, you'd have absolutely no idea that there was actually something back there. Alright, Colonel, let's do this. I don't want to fight! Step back! I'm sorry. I can't let you through. Iris will be sad if she loses you. Don't be so presumptuous, Zero. Save it until after you've defeated me. I'll show you no mercy. Now get ready! <laughs> Iris will be sad if she loses you. <laughs> Gee, no shit she'd be sad that her brother's dead. Also, it appears he's immune to that technique, so... Me hitting the wrong button uh, might actually be a bit of a problem. That being said, this technique actually does a crap ton of damage to him. Uh, well, at least by comparison. Not that this fight is terribly difficult anyways. Although this is the- especially since this is the only time you'd be fighting him as Zero. Impressive, Zero. But it's too late. What?! Repliforce has left for the space- even if I perish, Repliforce lives... Colonel! Zero, tell Iris that her brother died happily. Goodbye, Zero. Colonel! Well, there he goes. Also, Repliforce has left for the space. Not space, the space. Anyways, um... Continue, and just like last, the X playthrough, because of how short that level was, we're gonna keep going. They've, they've left for outer space. Scramble all Maverick Hunters. Iris? Where are you? Iris? She left with them. No! Maverick Hunters, scramble! I'm on my way. Don't do this to me, Iris. Oh, I'm trying to use Shapuga again. I don't know why, but I'm trying to. Uh, no. I could have used, uh... Real engine there, but I guess I decided not to. I guess I decided to make it more difficult for myself, like always. Oh, hey, Iris. What's the purple thing? Iris! So, 
You fought with my brother. I'm sorry. Then it's over. Everything. Wait! Iris! Listen to me! Goodbye, Zero. Iris! Oh god, she has power armor? Okay, I'll do it. You know, the sad part is that that actually doesn't even sound that bad. Like, that bit of voice acting doesn't even sound horrible. Like, that almost proves to me that it's awful direction that is the, re the reason for these awful voice lines. Like, because I'm going to be honest, Iris' voice in the earlier cutscene was terrible. She's actually a little bit better, in my opinion, in the infamous cutscene, which is coming up. Anyways, if you hit this thing enough, this weird diamond thing comes out of it, which is weak to the fire attack. In fact, I think it's the only thing that can actually hurt it. Uh, annoyingly, it sometimes goes under the ground like this, but you can actually still hit it while it's down there, so... Yeah, compared to the fight with Double, that was pretty easy. Also, because of the position <laughs> where I killed Iris... Uh, yeah. Now I feel bad for jumping on her in the first stage. Oh god, here it comes. <laughs> Iris! Iris! Zero. Hang in there, Iris. Please, stay away from Replifos. Let's live together in a world where only Reploids exist. Fucking racist. Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist with you. Iris! 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 Ah! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? You all don't know how tempted I was to scream that along with him. But what the weird thing is, is, like, the first half of that line, like, when Zero is, like, trying to beg Iris to get up, isn't even delivered that badly. It's just the last whole, what am I fighting for, part that's so terrible. I don't get it. Anyways, I promise we take the... Uh, oh, no, that's actually not the upper path. I promise we take the upper path of Zero, so we're going to. And you can see why I didn't want to take it as X. Because of all these spikes giving me horrible flashbacks to the Lunar Palace level from uh, X8, which had so many damn spikes, I swear to god. One of the main reasons I don't think I'm ever beating X8 without Rookie Hunter on. Because holy crap did that game, whoever designed that level, love their spikes. You can get past that part with X, in fact I actually did it on my practice run. But it's more tricky, so I tend to use zero for the upper path. Oh, hi, General. General! Many died because of you! Those lives are on your conscience now! Independence always has a high price. What about Iris? Did you forget at her? I have no regrets. Come on, Zero. It was our destiny to fight. I'm really pissed off that he didn't say the whole, my fate is sealed. I have no choice. Slime in either of my playthroughs. Anyways, as X, General wasn't that hard, but as Zero, um... Well, how do I put this? Uh, he's a lot trickier. If solely because, basically, for most of the fight, you kind of have to rely on these fists to get up to, to actually get up to him and be able to hit his head, which is where you can actually take damage. Look at this. I, even with this, I can barely hit him. And it barely does anything to him, even if I do hit him. Now, like I mentioned, his weakness is supposed to be the Shipuga, but good luck hitting him with that. Maybe you might be able to hit him with that if uh, you can stand on his fists and launch it at him. But I doubt you're going to be able to. 
I don't know, just something about uh, that particular uh, little idea is um, not, a, not one that I really want to try to pull off. So I use, my usual strategy is to just tank all the hits and just hit him, because you know what? This level's almost over. If I can kill him before I die, then I can get all my health back. Yeah, like that, see? Kind of interesting that he died over on this side in this run, whereas in X's run, he died over on the other side of the room. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Oh, he teleported. What? What is this? What's happening? Oh. No. This weapon can't be working. General? What's wrong? Someone else is controlling it. Then, Earth's in grave danger. It must be stopped. I'll handle this. Why? 